Hi, this is Will from ProBackup and in this video I will show you how you can backup your Trello boards. So as you can see here, I'm already logged in to Trello and I created just a demo account with a few uh, boards and cards. And then you can click here to on Power Ups to get started. So I'll click on Add Power Ups, then search for ProBackup, click here on Add twice, and then I'll click on Backup My Boards. This will bring me uh, to the website of ProBackup. If you don't have a ProBackup account yet, then you will first need to create your ProBackup account. In this case, I already have a active ProBackup account, so I'm logged in straight to my account. So then to continue, I can click here on New App, then I'll select or click on uh, Trello, and this brings me to the first step of the onboarding process. In the first step, you will need to connect to your Trello account in order to authorize ProBackup. This redirects you to a page of Trello and then you need to scroll down here to the bottom and click on allow. Then this brings you back to the uh, scope page of the onboarding process. Here I can also choose to deselect some workspaces. You can leave them all checked, but this is helpful if for example you have a private workspace that you do not, do not wish to backup, then you can deselect that workspace here. For now I'll just click on continue and then I'll uh, go to the third step of the process. And on this step, you can uh, choose if you want to sync your data backups also to your Google Drive account. So how does this work? In the first step, we backup all of your data with uh, heavy encryption on our server. And then in the second step, you have the option to sync your data backups to your Google Drive account. So in that case, you will create a new folder in your Google Drive and then create a folder for each of your Trello workspaces and boards. And then we create Google Sheets for each of your boards and cards, comments, files, and each data type that we are backing up. Um, this is a completely optional step, so you can also just skip it for now. If you wish to know more about this uh, Sync to Google Drive feature, then I recommend checking out our YouTube channel where you will find a tutorial video on this. So for now, I'll click on Skip for now. And then I'm already on the last step of the onboarding process. And if I then click on Start Backup, then my first Trello backup will be started. So um, as of this point, I'm actually already all settled. I don't need to do anything for now. Um, the first backup is running. And once this is completed, you will receive a notification email from us to, work, to, to inform you that your first backup has been completed. And then from that moment on, um, the next day will just start backing up your data on a daily basis. So depending on your, your Trello account, like the size of your Trello account, a first backup can take up to a few hours. But then once this is done, like the, the future backups, like the daily backups happen much quicker because then we just check which items or cards have been added, changed or removed and we just backup the delta of your account on a daily basis. So we perform an incremental backup uh, in the coming uh, days and weeks. So as you can see here, uh, given I just had a very small demo account, my uh, first backup is already completed. So this went very fast. So this means I can already go to the backup page and then see or access actually the data backup. So on the left side here, you see all of the data types that we are backing up. So we back up cards, boards, attachments, lists, comments, custom fields, uh, and so on. And if I click on cards, for example, you can select your workspace and on, then, for example, select um, the board of which you would like to see the data. So here, for example, each row is a card. If I scroll to the right, I can see that all of the information is being backed up. I can click on, the, on an item to see a bit more information and from here I can also select and either export all of this information or also restore these cards back to uh, my account. And the same is true for um, the other data types such as attachments, custom fields and so on. So this is in a nutshell how to get started with the backup of your Trello boards. If you wish to learn more about the functionalities of Pro Backup and l learn a bit more about like how to restore cards, how to restore an entire board, then I recommend checking out our YouTube channel. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.